What do resin 3D printers and screen printing have in common? They both use a photosensitive compound with a layer mask to bring your designs to life. On a resin printer, the masking LCD blocks out UV light to harden resin one layer at a time. These layers are built upon each other in increments of half a millimeter until your finished object is completed. With screen printing, a fine mesh is coated in a similar resin called photoemulsion. A transparent sheet with your design is placed on the photoemulsion and acts as the mask. The screen is then exposed to UV light, hardening the areas around the design. From here, the uncured resin is rinsed out, and the screen can be used to deposit ink on various materials like clothing and signs, similar to a stencil. Today I want to experiment with using a resin 3D printer to make my own screen printing screens. I've been trying to do this for a week now, and my first attempt at this involved actually printing the screen itself. The biggest issue with this though is that my CAD program of choice, Fusion 360, absolutely hates when I try to make a fine mesh. Some of the simple operations like extrudes took actual hours to complete when a fine mesh was involved. Having a relatively old computer probably didn't help either, but after a few days of wrestling with Fusion, all I managed to get was this printed screen which warped terribly during curing. I could keep going with this idea, but importing different vector designs and redoing any of this CAD work would be a real pain. So I went back to the sketch plane and came up with a new idea. I would use this cheap mesh material I bought a few years ago to attempt to create my own budget screens. Then all I need to do is coat it in resin and expose it using the resin printer. I need to print a frame that will fit in my Elegoo Jupiter's resin vat, and I designed one in Fusion and sent it to the Elegoo Neptune 3 Max to print. After the first layer, I paused the print and inserted a piece of the mesh. This took a bit of finagling, but eventually I got it embedded in the frame print. The screen is a bit loose here, so I tried a heat gun to try and shrink the mesh and tighten everything up. And this worked pretty good. Until I burned a hole in it. This should be fine though, as the resin should harden over this and keep that hole from causing any problems. From here, I took my screen, placed it in the resin printer vat, and spread on some resin to fill the voids in the mesh. For my design, I imported an SVG vector file into Fusion and created a rectangle the size of my Jupyter's build volume. I extruded this and then used my design to cut away from this block. After flipping the design, this left me with something that should hopefully trick the resin printer into hardening all the resin except the areas of the vector design. After running the exposure for about 90 seconds, I had a somewhat successful result. This video is brought to you by Elegoo. Whether you're interested in FDM or resin printing, Elegoo has a machine for you. From budget and beginner-friendly machines to high-end machines with professional results and everything in between. Head over to the link in the description and help support the people who support this channel. I washed the uncured resin from the screen and hardened the remaining resin with my UV flashlight. There's a few things that I learned from this test. One is that 90 seconds was way too long of an exposure time, and there's a lot of bleed which has closed up a fair amount of the finer details. The inside of the P is also missing here, so I think I need a finer mesh so the design has more area to adhere to. I also need to fully remove any of the ISO with some compressed air to avoid these clogged mesh holes. With this in mind, I purchased a roll of actual screen printing mesh for under $20 on Amazon. I also redesigned my frame to have a friction fit ring that should hopefully tension this fabric without having to use a heat gun.
This worked out great and I got a super tight screen after super gluing the tension ring to the frame. Next, I placed my screen in the Elegoo Jupiter vat and checked the alignment. I poured in my resin and made sure the screen was fully coated. I opted to run the exposure for 30 seconds this time. And after cleaning the uncured resin, here's the result. The letters are sharp and there's very little bleed. There's a few little spots that look thin, so I just dabbed some resin on those areas before hitting it with my UV flashlight. Now all that's left to do is to test it. I grabbed a few of my work shirts that have pockets and I'm gonna screen print this logo there. My first attempt had a few weak spots, but I think this is due to my uneven squeegeeing. I grabbed a better tool for the job and loaded up another shirt. And this one turned out perfect. All I had to do to set this ink is hit it with a heat gun and it should be more or less permanent. Being able to try my hand at screen printing for the cost of some fabric ink and some cheap mesh fabric is super cool and I'm going to call this one a success. I hope you found this video interesting, I'll link these frame files if you want to give this a go yourself. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.